Well, we all know it is important to maintain our core strength, especially after having children. But the novelty of daily crunches wears off pretty quickly. Luckily, we have personal trainer Lorraine Scapins back in the Harvey Normal Lounge with some great alternatives. Good morning to you. Good morning, Mel. Uh, first up, I think I know the answer to this, but why is core strength so important? I think we tend to forget, we, we tend to look at, you know, core strength as a physical thing, you know, we want, you know, the nice shape, strong core, but we, we don't tend to look at why the physical benefits are there, you know, it can help improve posture, improve our digestion, improve pelvic floor muscle function, there's lots of benefits to having a good, strong and healthy functioning core system. And it's not just the outside, it's the inside bits as well, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So your core and your glutes would be your most important bits, wouldn't they? Oh, for sure, they're our central system, you know, if that's strong, everything else is going to function well off from that. So you've come up with a no crunch workout, um, so what have you got against crunches? Well, I've not really got anything against crunches. Crunches have had a lot of bad press over the last few years. Um, first of all, up to around, you watch in the gyms, around about 90% of people are doing crunches wrong. So it can therefore increase all the issues we've just spoke about, mm -hmm. such as, you know, decrease in pelvic floor muscle function, increase in lower back God, pain. Don't want to decrease that. No, we sure. don't. <laughs> and, you know, it can end up, you can end up making your stomach look bigger as well. Really? Perform, yes. Well, that performing the crunches wrong. So And what and also can hurt your neck too, can't it, if yep, you're not doing them right? Yep, for sure. So there's lots of those sort of disadvantages and they're pretty boring. I mean, how long have we been doing crunches for? And there's so many better, more suitable alternative exercises yeah. that people can do at home or at the gym. Yeah, and I certainly yeah. don't notice any difference with crunches. Maybe I'm just not doing them the right way though. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, so you're gonna give us a demo, yep. um, some great exercises for our core. So we'll start off on our side. So some side planks are a great option and we can go straight from basic. And these are good for pregnant mums as well and soon postnatal. Okay. So we've got basic side planks which are working right through the core. And then you can go right up through to advanced side planks. We right. can add do twists in. Do you stay up or do you go up we and down? We can go up or down. Again, that's what the, there's lots of different ways that you can do these. We can tend to, I like to add legs in, which adds a little bit more challenge as well. So they're going on through to the more advanced stages. So just with a basic side plank option, okay. you can add a lot more um, function to so, the exercise. So if you're totally variation. beginning, what would be your one for beginning with? Beginning, bent legs, and in this position, lifting up and down okay. and again when we're lifting up and down we're making sure we're contracting the pelvic floor and transverse abdominals on the exhale and then we release them when we inhale so we've not got a constant squeeze in because otherwise then we're overloading the pressure system which pushes the abdominals forward so it's always a contract and relax there and we take that through from the beginners to the advanced exercises. Okay, so what else have you got? Well, we've got lots of different hip bridges, what we can do. Again, we've got basic options. So we've got basic bridges, and then we can take them up into advanced. Is that working your glutes as well? Yes, so we've got the benefit of both. Then we can change them, we can lift up and lift. We can start to increase the intensity by adding your arms in. And then if you're pregnant, so deal a lot with pregnant women, we can come up into this position from late pregnancy and lift up and start to work through reverse leg slides. Okay. And then we can bring, so again, still working the core, but women don't need to be on the back. Now people at home are looking at this going, that looks so easy, but it's actually not. It's I not, it's quite challenging. If you're, doing it there, it's yeah. actually, if you're doing it properly, it's quite difficult. And you've really got to concentrate on the correct activation of your core muscles. And that's what I said before, you know, that pelvic floor contraction with the exhale, along with the important transverse abdominal Bring it in, muscles. Bring pull the belly button in sort of thing. Yeah. Um, do you find, is this the sort of thing that you can do when you've got 10 minutes spare in front of the tally, or should you incorporate it with cardio workout? I would say do them whenever it suits you. you know, you could get up in the morning and do a couple of minutes there if you feel like it, you know, just to get you up and going. When we're watching the cafe or again <laughs> at the gym and put them in there as well. But yeah, you can mix them into your workouts for sure. Excellent. So I expect everybody who is watching right now to be in a side plank position of some description, <laughs> yep. okay? You can send us a photo of that actually. Put on our Facebook page. I would love to see it. Uh, thank you so much for that, Lorraine. That's uh, been eye-opening. I'm definitely going to try some different things to the normal crunches that I've been doing because they have <laughs> not been working. Thanks so much.